uh, the Lord's Prayer is the final word on prayer. I mean, we have 230 different passages on prayer. This is the only one that God said, that's what I want you not to say, but that's what I want you to do. Jesus does not ask us to repeat after me. Rather, he says, follow this guide I'm giving you. That's why this is really the disciples' prayer. You know, the commentators say that. They say, it's not the Lord's prayer, it's the disciples' prayer, it's for us. It's the Lord's guide for how we're to pray, and Jesus explains basically seven elements. And I'm just going to run you up to where we are. The third one is, thy will be done. Boy, is that a puzzler. People think, oh, I've got to wait until I know the Lord's will. That shows in our prayers. We say, Lord, uh, help, lead me to a good job in the future. How do you know God wants you to have a good job in the future? Lord, lead me to the perfect woman. Uh, is there a perfect, I mean, the only perfect woman I know, her mother has already died. You know what I mean? That means there aren't any perfect women, certainly not perfect men. So what does this thy will be done thing? You know, a lot of people are so puzzled by the will of God that they're paralyzed because they've been told that the purpose of life is to have a fulfilling career. It's not. It's to please God, not have a fulfilling career. Did you talk to the, a generation or two ago? They never heard of all this, you know, that they want to have a fulfilling. They just worked, and, and they, just, they just went through life, and, and they operated on, look at this, obeying the revealed will of God. What is that? It's here. You know what, everybody wants something more than this. This is not enough. Show me whether I'm supposed to be an entomology major or not. Does God care? Not about entomology careers. He wants you. Now, you might be an entomologist for his glory, just like, I mean, one of those Gideons. I, I, I thought they were all doctors and lawyers and stuff. They aren't. I talked to one. I said, what do you do? He said, I dig those ditches that, you know, Comcast cable goes in. I said, really? You like it? Oh, he said, it's so neat. He said, I found my car hearts can hold 12 testaments. <laughs> and he said, when that coffee truck comes up, you know, trying to sell the high-priced coffee to the poor, cold ditch diggers, he said, I come up and I say, has anybody ever given you one of these? And he says, some days I can get through all 12. I said, aren't you just hoping that you don't have to be out in your car hearts digging in the winter? He said, no. He said, I'd probably never have as many people to share Christ with. And I thought, that's an oddball. <laughs> a modern, I mean, everybody's trying to do something else and, you know, be comfortable. He says, I want to work out in this. I mean, he was just one. I could go on. Who wants to, you know, talk about that? To obey God's word is to do his revealed will. Thy will be done means we know God has revealed his will. And by the way, we're never asked to find God's will just to do it. And he said, it's not some mystery. How can you do something we don't know? We can't. And so what's the will of God? It's written down. We are not to go to God and beg him to know his will because he's already told us. That's like telling someone what to do. And they said, please, please tell me what to do. I said, well, I did tell you what to do. I wrote it down for you. No, 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 tell me what to do. As if I have something different than, than what God's already revealed. That I'm so special that God has only something for me. He says, I do have something for you. Obey me. And as you obey me, I fulfill my will through you. You remember the servant of Abraham that went looking for a wife for Isaac? Do you remember what he said? I being in the way, the Lord led me. He didn't sit in his tent and say, show me where to go find a wife for my master's son. He just headed up. He says, I know that that his relatives live up in Haran. I'm going to walk that way. God, show me what to do. I'm going to do everything that I, I mean, I'm going to just use common sense and everything you've given me. I, I don't, did you know people in the Bible didn't wait for angels to tell them what to do and God to write it in the sky or whisper it in their ear? Paul went this way, and as he was going that way, God said, no, don't, don't go that way, go this way. He went that way, and the Lord said, no, 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 keep going, but go a little left. And, and, but it was after they were obeying the revealed will of God, everything that they knew. And that's what is so lacking. Uh, as we respond to the truth God has given us, he leads us. We're asked, uh, we are to ask God to search us and see if any part of our life is not obedient to what he has told us to do. But we learn to obey the revealed will of God in his word because we love him. And then we learn to trust God's provisions. That's the give us this day. This is our shared confession. We need God to sustain us.